We're just vlogging a bit. Let me call you back. Okay, okay, bye. G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G. So here we are. Beautiful street of Arnold. Arnold is uh, is a gorgeous pocket right in front of Octagon. If you guys know Octagon's a, a beautiful uh, restaurant, steakhouse. I've been there like once. Very upscale, you know, you gotta be dressed up to go in there. Anyways, this neighborhood is a reflection of that restaurant. Very upscale, you've got massive lots, 100 foot wide, uh, three car garage, two car garage, 7,000 square feet, 10,000 square feet. Overall, the brand new ones that are being built are like super over the top massive. Today we're checking out a $9 million house. It's been listed for 8,888,000. I wonder who they're trying to attract with that number. You know, I was gonna say, that's a very Asian influence. Oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I live in Thornhill. You live in Thornhill. Yes. But you're, you work out of the Bayview Village office. Mm, yeah, but I have five kids, two dogs, a cat. Like, I need land. And Thornhill, it gives you land. <sighs> Funny, because I grew up in Thornhill. I've been here forever, and I don't know. I can't see myself living anywhere else. You're like a true, true native Thornhill person. Minus um, the first five years of my life, but yeah. That's okay. Like, I moved <laughs> from country to country, and by the time I landed here, it was like 10 years ago. So I'm not a true uh, Thornhill native, but I could say I identify with Thornhill now. What do you love most? I mean, we are in Thornhill right now. Um, Thornhill is like this weird in-between. You've got Vaughn, you've got Markham, you've got the older areas, which is more on the Markham side. The, the Vaughn side has been like developed. But what I like about it is it's established, upper middle class uh, population, and then you've got like families that live here. Decent schools, like, and nice parks, bigger lots. I think yeah. that's my favorite thing. Yeah, I think the state lots is one of the really key features, especially in this pocket that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. You can literally just, I mean, I don't know about now, but back in the day, people were buying these older bungalows, demolishing them and building them, which is why when you're on the street, you see the variety of different types of homes. 100%, and you know what? I'm gonna take you to one of those homes that's been torn down and rebuilt to an almost 7,000 square foot luxury mansion beautiful and you know the one bad thing about these areas is that i mean it's good and bad there's no sidewalks on some of the streets but it still has that charm and that historic feel right where people are walking on the street you just gotta make sure you're not crushing them when you're driving <laughs> <laughs> i know we just drove by a bunch of people just walking i actually really like that though even though we're in the suburbs and you know we're not in the city people still have this community in this neighborhood here. 100% now. Here. All right, so here she is, Jess. Wow. Beautiful facade. You've got a hundred front frontage here. You've got heated driveway. I know you like that. Perfect for people like me that hate shoveling the snow. Yes. And we've got a nice grand entrance. Beautiful boxwood in the front. I'm excited to see this place. I heard there's some really key features here that some you won't features. see in yeah. a lot of homes. So I'm excited. 100%. Wait. Oh, I think you cash. Yes. Thornhill's full of gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we are. Okay. Nice grand entrance, gated. You yes. come in stone driveway circular drive it's heated tell me what do you feel i personally i hate having to move my car back and forth in and out so this for me is super key we've got guests coming in we host often so no one has to move their cars around what i really have my eye on are these pillars here at the front mm -hmm. it gives this like grand type of feeling you know you're 100%. coming in and with the wooden door and I then agree. the wooden ceiling that's matching up top so mm -hmm. i like it it's subtle it's clean and it's not loud yeah 100 percent. yeah because the uh, the windows and the stone are kind of in the same tone yeah um the wood door does make it warm it's inviting it's like the focal point of the house same with the garage doors and it's, it looks very solid you've got all the like precast around the windows and this massive two-story high window I can't wait to see the inside it's got to bring a lot of light in Listen, I don't know about you, it's still early April, it's freezing cold, I know it looks good. Yeah. Let's go inside and yeah. take a look, Let's okay? Let's go. Hello, hey. hi Freeman, let's go in. Awesome. 
Wow, what a beautiful entrance. Talk about grand. It's very grand. And you know, I like the fact that the stairs are right in the front. Winding staircase, open risers along the side of this massive two-story window. And natural lighting. Tons of natural lighting. Natural lighting is very important and this house has that. What I really like is when you come in, you've got the stairs to above right there. And you got the kids <laughs> along the railing being like, hi daddy. And I'm like, oh my God, what did I just walk into? I want to just go back home. <laughs> Immediate exit. I mean, and not just a couple, you've got five. Five boys, yes. What I love is that you're not immediately walking into the home, right? Mm -hmm. So the space is separated. And so it kind of gives you this feel of privacy. Mm -hmm, so you're, you're welcomed right. here. You can welcome your guests. I'm always thinking about guests because we're always hosting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, I absolutely you're love absolutely this. You're absolutely right. And you know what, there is a there is an option here to put a chandelier and I think this space would use could use a really nice big chandelier yeah, to make it even sure. more grand than it is um, tell me a little bit about the flow of the space you've got the formal you've got the office how do you feel about that I personally like it I like separation of space I mm -hmm. don't like especially in a home this large I kind of would prefer to have the space separated right and then mm -hmm. Everyone is kind of in their own space. No one's on top of each other. So yeah, and, I like and it. And the offices these days are all kind of done with the wood paneling. Notice that. Um, you know, it makes it nice and warm. You've got the formal. Let's go take a look at the heart of the house. This is where you have your family parties. Wow, I love this kitchen. Wow, it's nice. Cash, I'm gonna let you do your own thing. I'm gonna spend some time here. <laughs> all right. Beautiful. So when I think about hosting, since I love having guests over, I absolutely love this space, especially this island, because not everyone has to be seated. We can all stand around here, make some drinks together, some have some mimosas. So this for me is super ideal. I talked about natural lighting. I like anything white because it's really airy. It creates more of a larger space. So I'm always thinking, how can I make my space a little bit larger and a little more inviting and welcoming? And then, for those of you that don't know yet, I love to dance, I love music. We've got our speakers all around the house. We have them in the kitchen too. So can always have the tunes playing whenever it is. Typically mornings, that's how I start my morning. And this would be an amazing place for you to have your girlfriends over, cheers at that party. You can probably fit like, I don't know, like 30 people here, yeah. right? Yeah. Like maybe more, like around this massive island. What I really, really like is the Thermador appliances, but then you've got like a built-in coffee maker. How convenient is that? Every morning? Every morning. Yeah. Best part of waking <laughs> up. Thermador appliances in your kitchen. Uh, sponsorship. Uh, I'm not saying the name of the brand, but beautiful kitchen. You've got tons and tons of cabinets, nice ambient lighting in the cabinetry. Covered ceilings. ceilings, yes, jinx. jinx. <laughs> Love that. Um, and you know what? They've done a really good job at keeping it elegant and stylish and sleek. And you've got a massive pantry to the side. Which is tucked in, it's not in your way. Exactly. And it has direct access to the dining room as well. But what's really, really good is that you're facing this massive family room. And just if you remember, we're situated, we're facing south here in the back of the house. So lots and lots of natural light coming in. But my favorite part of this place, and I know you can agree with me. Drum roll, please. Is the barrel vaulted ceilings. Look how grand that looks. You've got the rope light in there, so at night, you've got this beautiful ambient lighting, slowly lighting up this, uh, the ceiling here and showing how deep it goes. And you've got uh, the built-in speakers around the edges. Nice. Uh, you've got speakers everywhere in this house. So for your parties, your dance parties, <laughs> you can move all this stuff over and you can do all sorts of dances. Yeah, I um, love it. I can I picture myself it. here having a glass of all choose tea. You'll mm -hmm. have some coffee. No, sitting here <laughs> watching a nice movie with all the built-ins here, um, a nice gas fireplace. I think that's Napoleon. Keeps this place warm. Uh, I love it. I can't wait to see the primary room and see what's in store because a house this big, you gotta have some wow factor there, Yeah, right? so there's five bedrooms upstairs, three in the basement, eight bathrooms all around. Wow. To be honest with you, I don't know how someone can manage cleaning this place. Uh, I'm sure if you're spending nine million, you've got someone cleaning it for you. Yeah, so you're right. So let's go up these stairs. Now the first thing I'm noticing is the open risers, lots of light coming through. I love the spindles and the railings. What do you think? It's like Cinderella vibe. Yes, 100%. <laughs> I remember this scene from like the evil stepmother scene, right? With the stairs coming yeah, down. Yeah. 
Yeah, 100%, I could, I could see that. All right, so here we go. Double door entry to the primary. Ta-da! Guess where I'm going. Yes, exactly what <laughs> I expected. <laughs> Tons of space, built in. You've got the cloth backboard. Um, that's like a king size bed and you still have so much room in here. All right. Ah! <laughs> Crazy Jess. I'm gonna go take a look at the ensuite. Um, can't wait to see this. I know it's gonna be grand. Whoa. I love it. I could see you've got heated floors, nice big deep soak tub overlooking the backyard, his and hers vanity, makeup table built in. Oh, you've got a towel warmer. This, this is really, really handy. A massive shower. You could probably fit like eight people in here. And then you've got a frosted um, bathroom area so that you, two people can use it. You've got one in the bathroom and one brushing their teeth without having to see each other and expose yourself. Beautiful skylight in the middle, tons of natural light, more built-in speakers. I love the view from up here. You could see the backyard, but they can't see in here. It's perfectly set. The tub is down here, right above this, uh, the line of sight. Very well done, two thumbs up. Nice bathroom. Now, where did Jess go? Let's take a look here. Jess. Jess. Hey everyone, good morning. So it's a sunny day. I'm so happy to be sitting here. These are my views right now. I just went shopping yesterday. So this is what I got. Let me show you guys. I got a little Chanel over here. And then we also went to the Louis store. Super happy to just be able to chill out here on the weekend. I hope everyone has a great day. Jess, wake up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know, I'm so mesmerized by this face. I've been daydreaming, I'm so sorry. I love it. It's got like, again, built-in speakers. So if you're like having a party, you can't run away from it. Count like, on me for that. It's gonna be blasting everywhere you go. You have rope light built into the crown molding, nice wood trim on top, matches the table here. Tons of space for like bench and putting your shoes. You've got a shoe rack there. You've got wardrobe here. It's ideal for you, right? It's perfect because uh, uh, I've honestly taken up like three different closets in my house. So this if I could put everything into one space, I would much prefer that. This is, I think, every woman's dream. Um, and you know what's funny is that with all this space, I would still end up with a little dresser beside the bed. <laughs> I know I would. So, Truth. <laughs> so I don't really care for this room because I'll never have one. So good for you for admiring it, but it's beautifully done. Tons of space to sit down, try on shoes. Lots of drawers. And you know what I like? Not everything is exposed. So you've got some clothes hidden. And so, I don't know. I don't really like when everything is open and I don't like when everything is closed. So mm -hmm. once again, that airy kind of feel. I don't You're know. Right. I can see myself spending a lot of time here. I like it. The cool thing is we've got two sets of stairs here. So you don't have to come up and down from the front if nice. you have guests especially. Yeah. But I'm really excited for the gym. I'm most excited about the elevator. Just yesterday I had a conversation with my mom and she was telling me how her knees are aching and she no longer wants to live in a two-story home because of that. So I think it's a super ideal for those people that are looking to just get through the house in a more accessible way. Cash, cash, cash. I better know where he is. So I'm gonna show you a super cool room in the home. You probably didn't expect something like this and it's perfect for those of you that love fitness. Come follow me. Cash? Yo. Where did you go, man? I was just talking to you, just disappeared. I'm getting jacked here of with the course. sun in my face. I feel like a Miami beach bot, dude. Oh. Oh, I can totally oh. picture you spending every morning here. So this is terrible because I'm using 10, 10 pound <laughs> weight and I'm on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> but it's okay, I'm getting jacked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I love how the gym is accessible from the garage and from the other side there in the family room. And it's outside, tons of light. I love that. Yeah, and so I think I've seen you post a lot of videos at the car club mm -hmm. and it seems like you love cars. What do you think about this space? 
I love it because you've got th room for three cars. You've got one tandem and one single. Um, but not only that, you've got the lifetime epoxy on the ground, which nice. gives it grip. It's cool for car guys. You know, you, if you have a nice car, you want it to be sitting on a nice ground. But better than that, you've got the storage, the rack systems all around um, to hang all your gardening stuff, your uh, sports equipment. And, uh, you know, obviously if you have car parts, you can put them up there for display. It looks really cool. I like the space and it's high ceilings too. So. Nice. Well, I think that concludes our tour, Jess. It's so um, I gotta say, I had a really good time touring this house with you. So did I. Thanks yeah. for doing this. Maybe we should do this again more often. I think we should. We're both Thornhill natives, and uh, maybe we'll do another Thornhill tour, or maybe we should take it outside of our boundaries and check out some other crazy homes in the area. What do you think about East York? Oh, not a bad area. Okay, Okay, see you you're guys. on. Bye. Deal. <laughs>